because this is now about AI models for stroke prevention using wearable data. This is an impactful alliance between three different players. In this case, we talk about Barcelona Supercomputing Center, you probably all know, Nubo, and Fundación Freno Alictus. Let's take a look at this project. Hello, everybody. Uh, today, uh, Enara, Borja, and myself are going to uh, system for stroke prevention using wearable data. So stroke is one of the major leading causes of uh, death worldwide. And this cost is predicted to uh, be growing, uh, growing um, exponentially in the next uh, years. On top of that, stroke events tend to be recurrent and they are extremely difficult to say the least or even impossible currently to predict. Um, so one solution uh, for this is uh, uh, prevention and in particular uh, is key. But in order to be effective, this monitoring must be in real time and non-invasive. And our solution actually addresses both those uh, points. The real timeliness uh, through the use of a robust edge cloud computing uh, infrastructure and the um, AI-based uh, model for stroke risk stratification. This model has been trained on uh, real-world sensor data and lifestyle information of people who actually suffered a stroke and, of course, a control case, with a special emphasis uh, on uh, the uh, representation of women in this data, especially considering uh, the importance of the issue of sex and gender bias in artificial intelligence. So an initial model, uh, given the, the sheer amount of data, the initial model was trained using the high performance uh, computing uh, um, capacity of the Barcelona Supercomputing Center and in particular a distributed machine learning library that we developed. And this model will be refined using uh, federated uh, learning which uh, ensures the preservation of privacy for this particular sensible information. Once trained, the model is uh, deployed and uh, allow for real-time inference at the edge, which basically means in your mobile phone. So all this system is expected to be working in, uh, uh, with various uh, uh, wearable technologies. In particular, we are focusing our attention and effort uh, uh, smartwatches. So now I hand over to Enara and Borja, who are going to tell you more about uh, the particular population that have been identified for this development and the specific wearable device that we use to capture the data. Yeah. Okay, uh, Enara, I'm from Freno Alictus Foundation. And we are a, um, a foundation that uh, we are dedicated to develop and promote actions, campaigns, and other kind of activities to remove the social drama uh, in the society, in the stroke patient, uh, in order to, to, to improve the, the situation of the patient in the society. Uh, we mainly uh, work in three action lines information and awareness, research and inclusion. And in the first line, we have an important project called Brain Protecting Spaces, in which we give uh, information and, um, to the companies, public and private companies, in order to know more about the stroke and in order to know how to act if a stroke happens in their facilities. We made a um, successful uh, training for the employees and after that, we share a certification, such as uh, the same certification that we share, for example, with the Senate and other kind of public and private companies. We also make other kind of activities, information activities, such as the activities that we made with Fundación Once in Stroke Day uh, the last year, uh, trying to raise the awareness of a stroke in a society. Regarding the uh, inclusion project, we have two main important projects called Guiar and Quiero, an art project that helps the um, uh, insertion of, of, the, of the stroke patient in the daily life and trying to increase the autonomy and reducing the dependency that they have after their rehabilitation. And finally, and related to more uh, research projects, uh, we are very committed to support the, the research teams to support other kind of, of um, institutions 
to improve and to make a different uh, research project. And this is a case that we work with uh, Barcelona Supercomputing Center in this project, in which we are in charge to conduct the uh, pilot study, in which may, we made different activities to recruit, to plan, and to monitor the, the pilot study with volunteers uh, that are control volunteers and also with uh, uh, persons that have uh, a stroke. So um, in this project, the technology has been provided by Nubo, it's the company um, I work for. Nubo is a Spanish company that has developed uh, uh, what you see there. There is a non-adhesive, um, a non-invasive cardiac monitor that doesn't use adhesives. It's based on textiles, as, as you can see. So the patient wears a textile um, uh, around the torso and records the ECG continually for up to 30 days. So uh, the main advantage of this technology, as you can see, is that it's very easy to, to wear and doesn't use adhesive or cables. Uh, maybe you have seen other technologies like Holter or similar other technologies where the patient has to wear electrodes on the skin and cables and all of that. That's not comfortable, that's not easy to wear, and that usually those technologies are only used for uh, 24 hours. So the new solution provides um, a technology to record the ECG for up to 30 days in a very comfortable comfortable way is uh, it's based on uh, silver electrode uh, textiles, as you can see the, in, the, um, in the picture there. Uh, that allows to have a higher diagnostic yield, but because the arrhythmias doesn't usually happen just in 24 hours, maybe it takes more time, so this increases the diagnostic yield and the chances that you catch the arrhythmia in this type of patient, in stroke patients, is very sp important to detect, in particular, atrial fibrillation. And it also allows, in the, uh, uh, in the scope of this project, to have a very huge amount of data because we record all the ECG. And as you can see, Barcelona Supercomputing is training a model, so we are providing all the ECG, the ECG of these patients to train this model with um, stroke patients and uh, control patients like Davide, who is also um, uh, wearing the device right now. Um, this is not a, a commercial product, let's say, la like uh, smart watches or heart rate straps. This is a medical device that has been uh, in certified in Europe since 2014, and the next generation was certified in Europe again in 2018 and in the US with the FDA in 2018 also. And we have many publications with this technology because it's used in most of, of the stroke units in Spain is using Nubo uh, today. This is uh, one of our biggest publications, was not led by us, was led by uh, Dr. Pagola and his team in, in Valdebron, where he used uh, Nubo for 30 days in stroke patients and he detected a 23% atrial fibrillation that is huge in just 30 days and it's even more than some other technologies that recorded more time. And uh, he also expanded the monitoring in some of the patients to more than 30 days. He, in some of the patients, he reached even 90 days using the same textile um, with this, uh, with this uh, patient, which demonstrates that the patient, the technology is very easy to wear, very easy to use, and it's uh, comfortable. Yeah. So thank you so much for your attention. If you want to know more uh, about our activities, we have a boot right there, AI Sprint. See you there. Thank you. We need the mic. Okay.